This short tutorial covers setting up your Luminera microscopy camera on an Apple computer and capturing your first images. This video is part 1 of 4 to get you started. At the end, you'll have good clear images suitable to email to your colleagues or to put in a presentation. We'll go over installing Infinity Analyze for Mac software, learning the typical Analyze workflow, adjusting the camera for your microscope's light levels, adjusting the camera to accurately represent your slide's colors, and capturing images. Before you begin, make sure that your camera is properly mounted to your microscope and that the microscope is on. Okay, so first we'll have to download and install the Infinity Analyze for Mac software package. Navigate to www.luminera.com. Go to Support, Microscopy, Drivers slash Software Downloads. Look for the Infinity Analyze for Mac link. We currently have support for Mac OS 10.7 and above. For older versions of OS 10, there is also third-party software available through ImageJ. We're only covering Infinity Analyze in these videos. This takes you to the installation guide page. The support documents are here, so it's a good idea to bookmark this page. Follow the written instructions to install Infinity Analyze for Mac. Plug your camera into your computer with the USB cable if you haven't already. Go to Applications and launch Infinity Analyze. Here we go! Infinity is designed around a specific workflow that you follow by clicking the View buttons. We're in Video View right now, which is where you capture images. Further along in the series, we'll look at Browser View, where you save and organize captured images, and Process View, where you edit captured images. So now we will prepare the camera settings for image capture. Adjust your microscope to bring the slide into focus like normal. You can look through the microscope eyepiece or at the computer screen. Once the image is in focus, we next adjust the camera to the microscope lamp's light levels by changing the camera's luminance settings. Setting the luminance properly is important to make details visible or else the image will look too dark or too bright and washed out. Some of you photography buffs might be familiar with the terms we see here. We'll start with a gain. Gain essentially means how much your camera will amplify the detected light. Gain is comparable to film sensitivity in film cameras. Next we'll look at the exposure. Exposure means the length of time that the, the sensor detects light before capturing an image. A longer exposure time means that the, the sensor detects more light. Adjust the exposure to make the light level on your screen match what you see in the microscope eyepiece. Perfect! Now that the light levels are correct, we'll make sure that the camera accurately depicts the slide's colors. This is important for identifying stained samples, especially pink, purple, or brown stains. Luminera cameras excel at duplicating these difficult colors. First move the slide out of the field of view so the camera is only detecting the lamp light. Click Auto White Balance. And return the slide to position. It's best to use the automatic white balance, but if you decide to try out the red, green, and blue slider values, Keep in mind that your particular computer monitor influences color display. You can always click the Reset to Defaults button if you want to start over on camera settings. So now we have the camera set properly for 10 times magnification. We can start capturing photos. Let's capture another photo and look at the thumbnail preview. The message shows that the camera is saving an image to the database. We can see the database in Browser View. 
we have our two lovely images here. Congratulations! You've now set up your camera to quickly capture clear images. Now you can easily demonstrate your work to colleagues, students, customers, even friends and family. The next tutorial shows you how to readjust camera settings for different magnifications, and how to save those settings.